Ladies, is there anything more attractive? You could be doing this without your shirt on, but. Oh. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Do you barf? Or was it you? Was it you? You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, come on in, get, get up in there. <laughs> Better clean the spoon. I love honey so much. Ohio honey. Okay. Gonna get a different spoon, huh? Oh, because I'm so gross. I'm not putting your saliva back into so, the purity of honey. Anyways, we have already had such a productive morning. We've got two YouTube videos up. I did a blog. Josh cleaned the kitchen. Now we're gonna go lift abs and then we have to go to the post office and the bank and then we're gonna clean the rest of the house. Good day. And it's like rainy and yeah, outside, so. It's a really cool cup. You know, I just went to support breast cancer research. That's my cup. Okay, it's your cup. get better at it. It's like a, like a form of torture that you can just like avoid, so why not just like avoid it? Oh, but I really do need to do it to make myself Look, a better athlete. I'm extremely flexible because of how much I stretch. Check it out. I will show you guys. So look, most people can't even touch their toes. <sighs> I can go all the way. I can do that. Straight leg. I go way past that. Okay. Look at that face. No. Yes, I did. Been straight over. Hands in front. No, hands in front. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do this? Yeah. Grab your toes. And then bring your head. Yeah, grab your toes, go ahead. All right, and then bring your head to your knees. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go through my routine. So first thing I do, just roll. What I try to do is I keep my butt on the ground and then basically try to keep my body on both ends on the ground so I stay relaxed over the foam roller. If you get really tense and roll around, it's not gonna do much for you. So I'm gonna stay relaxed, roll around, then, I go take this arm, pull over my scapula, roll over onto this side. And is this every day or just after an arm day? Every day. Every day pre workout. So, what I always do to make sure I do it is don't take my pre workout until I get to the gym. Then I, I'm forced to do something for 30 minutes, so I just stretch. So, then do the other side? We well, don't really stretch, you foam roll. Foam roll? Well, yeah. it's an active foam stretch. Yeah. Okay. Do this side, then I, I keep both of them open. I roll around, you feel it. It feels really good on your grabs. Just kind of scab it is open. Just stay on that spot. And then, if I'm gonna do legs, I don't do legs every day. I only do. You don't foam roll your legs. I don't foam okay. roll them every day because. I'm already really, really flexible, so if you lack flexibility, this will be really good. So I put one leg over top of the other like this, and then I, I lean forward as I foam roll. Get that active stretch. Switch legs, same thing. Like how do you? One. How long do you do each one normally? I probably 30 to 40 seconds to a minute. If they're sore, I do them a lot longer. Now here's the one that everyone avoids, and I highly recommend doing. IT band. IT band. Get it like this. Especially if you're a sprinter. Oh gosh. Depending, I mean, you can do it with, with no leg on the ground, like this. But if you need a little assistance, you can put that leg on the ground. And then shoulders. 
this is something I do every day. So I'll roll my brachialis, which is that muscle right here on the side of your arm. I'll roll that out. Come on this side. So I'll roll my arm down like this. And I firm roll my bicep and my chest at the same time into my front delt. So again, I, I roll like this, roll the chest, roll the front delt, roll the bicep, and then I can roll the tricep just by rolling over like this. Again, this is every day. Roll the delt. Tricep. It hurts extra bad today because we lifted arms yesterday. So again, just so you guys can see this, I roll the brachialis first, right there on the side. And then I roll the tricep. Doesn't matter, tricep or bicep. But I, I actually like, I actually like rolling this with my hand. And again, to do your bicep and your front delt, you just kind of open up your arm. you out there guys and gals hate doing cardio I feel you you had a brother on the path over here when you're doing cardio is distract yourself otherwise you're never gonna finish it so what I like to do is this download Netflix on your phone um, for me I picked a series that I wanted to start that I only watched on the Stairmaster I never watch it outside of the ship the, the, the gym and uh, what I picked was The Walking Dead. I didn't watch any of that, so I watched the very first episode all the way to where I am now on this machine right here. Not a single second was watched outside of this machine. And I'm on season six, episode four right now of The Walking Dead. So I've watched over six seasons of The Walking Dead on the Stairmaster. I don't know how many hours that is on the Stairmaster, but it's a lot. But here's, here's the reason why I do this because that show is very addicting. If you've watched it, you know. So for me, I look forward to the show more than I dread doing cardio. So I look forward, in, in a sense, to doing cardio because I get to watch my show. So for you guys, whether that's the news, whether that's a TV show of your own, YouTube videos where you watch the Bomars or watch someone else on YouTube while you do cardio, you have to find something that you can like more than you hate doing cardio. 
And that's a secret right there that'll get you in the gym doing cardio every day. So as you guys saw, we do the Stairmaster for cardio. Um, I really like the Stairmaster, it, it works extremely well. But settings wise, we do level 11 for 50 minutes, typically 40 to 50, depending on our, our time frame, what we have available. But that equates, at the end of that, we end up doing around 305 floors. So that sounds all good and dandy, but to put it in perspective for you guys, the Empire State Building is 102 floors. So Sarah and I walked to the top of the Empire State Building three times in 50 minutes for cardio. So it's kind of fun to think about it like that. But again, it doesn't feel like work because we distract ourselves with very entertaining things. What are you guys doing?